Hello Booktube, hello friends, welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books, I'm Elizabeth and today I've got another book haul video for you. I'm in the middle of a series of book haul videos because I had pretty much not done any book hauls during the year 2019 with the exception of a cozy mystery book haul during the month of March because it was March Mystery Madness. So I am finally getting my books that I have acquired over the last year and let pile up I'm getting them sorted and filming some book hauls so that uh, I can get them put away because they've been sitting in my living room off of shelves for far too long. I am working on a reorganization project. I did purchase a, a small new shelf and I'm planning to purchase one more, but we're going to have a yard sale first and get rid of a couple of furniture items that are in the living room to just make a little more space for things. So anyway, today's video is middle grade books. I have already done YA books and then a couple of weeks ago I did a, a book haul video of Christian fiction, another one of women's and general fiction, and one of nonfiction. Coming up after this I still have some vintage and older classic authors and then I have um, Sorry, I lost my train of thought because <laughs> Emily wants to Emily wants to walk past. Um, I I don't even know. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, I've got some more coming up. But today is middle grade. So I've got about a dozen here that I'm planning to keep. And I've got another dozen that are going to be prizes for the next book bowl, which will come around in late March or early April at Katie's former middle school. Those would be for the book bowl. And then I have, I'm not going to show you all of these, but I went to a yard sale just this past weekend and I got there as they were already packing up and closing up. And she said, well, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm always looking for books. And so she went and dug out where she had already, you know, piled them in a box, but literally gave me this whole bag of children's chapter books books, middle grade and upper elementary for two dollars. So these are going to go straight into the little free library. I haven't even unpacked it. I don't even know what's in there. If I discover that there's something really exciting in there that I want to show you, I'll save it for another book haul. But for now, that's, I'm just going to show you the bag because I thought that was definitely worth two dollars. Okay, so the books I'm keeping, I have one children's book. This is for Emily, Nate the Great. I have been reading several of these Nate the Great books this uh, over this past year. It's just a really fun kid detective, perfect for emerging readers. And so I found this like new copy of the first book. And so I got it for Emily. So I'm going to hand it to her right now since she's over there. Then one of the rare times I have bought a brand new book, I was at a independent bookstore at one of the towns where Katie, uh, her color guard group had a winter guard festival or a competition. So I'm always looking for bookstores and I found a bookstore that had, I believe it was all new books. And this one was sitting out on the table featured. This is book five in the land of stories in the Land of Stories series by Chris Colfer. Chris Colfer was one of the stars of Glee. I have the first four. I have not read any of them. I have heard other people speak about them on BookTube and everyone seems to like them that's read them. And this is called An Author's Odyssey. There are, I think, maybe seven in the series now. And I definitely want to get started on these. I believe this series is on my 20 by 20 challenge as a series to start before the... 20 by 20 challenge is over, so I may not get to this book by next year, but I should hopefully at least get the series started. And this is just, I think, as I understand it, it's just kind of mashed up fairy tales. There's uh, a lot of different fairy tale themes in this story, and so I don't really know any farther than that. Then I got two books from one of my favorite kid mystery series. I love this series. The Moendale Mysteries by Sheila Turnage. This is book two. Yes, The Ghosts of Tupelo Landing. I have already read this. And book three, The Odds of Getting Even. This is just a really fun series. Mo, her, that's short for Moses. She's also trying to uncover the mystery of who she is. She doesn't know who her biological parents are. And neither no one does that she lives with. I believe she was found floating in a basket and that's why they named her Moses. So uh, she is just one of my favorite literary kid characters. She's awesome. 
Then I also got two books from a different series. I think this is just a trilogy. I've read the first one called The Apothecaries. And this is the um, uh, book two and three. The Apothecaries was a Sunshine State book, I think when Katie was in sixth grade. I read only a few of the Sunshine State books that year. And then since then, I've been reading them all. But I enjoyed the book, although I can't remember anything about it. <laughs> This is book, um, I believe book two is The Apprentices, and book three is The After Room, and these uh, books are by Miley Malloy, and it's, you know, basically a middle grade fantasy series. And speaking of middle grade fantasy series, this is one of my favorites. It's by Suzanne Collins, the author of Hunger Games. Gregor the Overlander is the series. This is book four. I've read all of them already, but this is the only book I didn't have. Gregor and the Marks of Secret. I was keeping them on my shelf, just trying to collect them all because I thought maybe I might read them again at some point, and I still might, but my shelves are so crowded with books I haven't read that I think now that I have the whole set, I may pass these on to my sister's grandson because I think he would really enjoy them. If you've never heard of them, it is about this whole underland world that is under the ground, and Gregor ends up going there because his sister falls in a hole, and so he goes in after her and discovers this giant world underground full of huge bats and he, giant cockroaches and giant everything. And it's just a really good, creative, imaginative series. Then I got one that I have not started reading. This is book two. I just heard about this series through Katie. And I think when she was maybe in fifth grade, she checked out the first book in this series from the school library. And then we eventually found a copy at Scholastic. And I still haven't read anything from the series, but this is book two. It's the puzzling world of Winston Breen. And this is called the potato chip puzzle. And it's by Eric Berlin. Then I have two that are Disney themed. I gotta readjust my stacks here. Two that are Disney themed from different series. This is from the spin off series or the second series of The Kingdom Keepers. I'm currently reading the original Kingdom Keeper series right now. I think I'm on book five. This is book two in the second series and it's called The Legacy of Secrets. I guess the series is called The Return. And of course, it's by Riley Pearson. And look at this. I got it for $2 at Dollar General. That's a great deal for a brand new book. This one is like brand new. I got this at a Goodwill bookstore, again, in one of the towns where Katie's Color Guard team had a competition. And this is book three in the Descendants series by Melissa De La Cruz. I've read the first one. I don't own the second one. Haven't read it. But this is the third one and I couldn't pass it up because it was in such good condition. This one is called Rise of the Isle of the Lost, which is kind of a mouthful. And then two more in this stack. I have read this book and its sequel but I have not read any more in the series. In fact, I think when I read the first two, I didn't even know there was more in the series. But the series is by Cynthia Voigt. I picked this series up because the second book is a Newbery winner. And I am still pursuing my goal of reading all Newbery winners. Although, before I ever started BookTube, I was really working on that goal. I mean, I was reading them all the time. And I've kind of gotten away from it. But uh, I have read at least about half, maybe more than half, of the Newbery winners so far. Anyway, the cover, uh, the book covers that I've seen from both The Homecoming and Dicey Song are just blah and nothing that would attract me to read them at all. And I saw this cover. Sorry, it took me so long to show it to you. This is The Homecoming, which is the first book in the series. Uh, and I said, I think I already said it's by Cynthia Voigt. I love this cover. This is really... This shows what the series is about. It's not boring. It's it's really just an attractive cover. The, the series is about these three children. No, actually, there's four of them. Sorry. Their mother, I think, just abandons them. So they start on a quest to find their grandmother. They have a vague idea of where she lives. And they just set off across the state or across a couple of states. I don't know. They go a long way on their own to get to her and don't even know if she will take them in. And their mother, their grandmother is kind of a curmudgeonly character and she's really rough around the edges and just kind of crusty. So she doesn't even know if she wants to take them in at first, but 
it, there, it's just a wonderful family drama story, and I would highly recommend uh, this book and this series. And I need to read the rest of them because I've only read the first two, and I think there are maybe at least five, maybe more. And um, anyway, so this is really good, and I'm happy to have a copy of it that, that actually looks nice. So then one more. I saved it for last because it is the last in its series. This is like new. I found it at a used bookstore. It is the Penderwicks at last. I love the Penderwicks. I've read the first three. This is the book five and I own a couple of them. It's just really a fantastic series. So that's all I could show you today. I'm not going to be able to show you the uh, books that I'm giving away because I'm out of time and I'm about to run out of memory. But if you want to see this, let me know. I'll do a separate video um, at some point in the future. They're, they're books I've read before. I've shown before. They're all on the Sunshine State list. That's all I have for this video. Hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.